project as Mark continues to dig a bigger hole for himself. In where else but Shortland Street? Mackay. Hunter Mackay. Wow. Oh, what? Time's coming in! Oh, man, I'm completely munted if anything happens to Mum's car. Oh, give her a call. Get her to help. Yo, James Dean, move your butt. The sand is firm enough, I should be able to drive out. Refresh my memory, retard. Wasn't it your driving that got us into this in the first place? You wanted to come to the beach. You're saying this is my fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, okay? Hey, I did these guys a favor giving you a lift. Oh, wow, Nate, you're the best. Yeah. Everybody loves Natal, right? Look, you are a good person, okay? The stuff you write to me is amazing. <laughs> Why is that funny? Because he doesn't write it. I do. Pretty hysterical, huh? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think you'd want to know. And then you were going to the ball with Nate. If I told you then, you'd just think I was some jealous loser. Nate, what are you doing? Dr. Weston. Oh, yeah, if this is about a DNA sample, I've already given one. Well, not according to the list. Uh, I've got a flat-out schedule today, so I sorted it first thing so you can cross me off. All right, I'll have to check with the other team. Sure. Nate, quit it! This is stupid! He shouldn't be in the water he's been drinking! Not that much. He's had heaps! What the hell, there's always dry cleaning. Don't be a dick, Nate. Sod off, retard. It's freezing in here. Maybe for wusses. Come on. Don't you want to mess up your hair? Huh? Let go! What's that? Nate, stop it! Your turn, princess. Sophie! You. Lots. I'd uh, like to follow up on these contacts of yours, the ones we discussed. Chris, I'm not sure that's the wisest choice for you. Can't I be the judge of that? These guys aren't lightweights, and we're talking some big risks here. Well, they're professionals, they can handle themselves. Yes, but you're assuming I want to be involved. You don't need to be involved, not if you don't want to, just give me It the... doesn't work that Look, way. Look, I'm coming to you for help here. If you feel you could do this for me, I would be very, very grateful. Sorry. Right, well, I'll just have to make my own contacts. Hope I don't get cowboys. There are some other guys I can call. Less risky. It might not lead to anything. It's a start. That's all I need. So to recap, you saw Meg twice in the men's toilets that night. Once with Karen Mitchell, once with Mark Weston. Yeah. And you also saw her make advances to Joey Henderson. <laughs> yeah, she was totally going for it. Friendly girl. Did she come on to you too? I don't think I'm her type. I am single, by the way. You said she was arguing with Karen. What was the vibe like with Mark? Well, I don't know. Couldn't really tell. Maybe you should ask him. Fair enough. Cheers, Steve. Let's end the next one. Hey. 
Must be getting pretty sick of this by now. Glutton for punishment, me. So, Joey Henderson, your thoughts on Meg's behavior the night she died? Okay, she was messy. She was very messy. Booze, drugs? Um, just booze, I think, but she was going pretty hard. And she came on to you? Yeah, a couple of times. Did you shag her? Don't be shy now, Joey. All friends here. No, I didn't sleep with her. She wanted to, but I wasn't into it. Take well to rejection, did she? She kept on drinking. Uh, but Tanya, um, Tanya Weston, asked me to call her a cab. Sensible. Uh, I got put on hold by the time I got through, uh, Meg had left. I had to go to work as well, so I left too. Can anyone verify you were working? Um, yeah, sure. There were plenty of people on nights. I'm looking for details, Joey. Little details. Anything will do. Feuds, rumours, scandals. People with secrets. Um... Well, no, nothing springs to mind. Well, I guess that's us then. It wasn't about anything. Maybe not to you, wild boy. I hate to break up the party, but we need to get help before the tie comes in. I'll call Hunter. Oh, perfect. I can't begin to tell you how awkward this feels. <laughs> you need a drink? And so do I. Drink. Drink is good. You are old enough, aren't you? <laughs> ha ha. Sorry, Tess, it's a cork. Uh, the cork screw's in the second drawer, and the glasses are on the shelf. Hello? Who's that? Hello? I just answered your phone. I'm sorry, I thought it was mine. We've got the same phone, freaky. <laughs> uh, it was Sophie. Maybe you should call her back. Ah, she'll leave a message. <sighs> Some girl picked up. <sighs> Isn't he meant to be sick? <sighs> now it's on message. Yeah, pick up, you jerk. Problem solved. If she recognises my voice, then she'll know we're together. No way. A bit risky. You should go. I really don't think you mean that, Tess. <laughs> 